<laughs> Here he is, the man of the hour. Glad you could make it, Hamura. And you must be Patriarch Matsugane. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Though if you ask me, Dojo leadership should be better at keeping their dogs chained up. Agreed. There is no excuse for how I acted. Shioya-san, we're gonna make Hamra tell us who the Mole is. Think he can keep us safe till then? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. This is what Chairman Kajihiro wants. You don't want to disobey his orders, do you? Well, that's rude. I still haven't paid you back for what you did to me. If you don't mind, I'd like to settle that first. For what I did? You're the one who kidnapped Mafuyu. If you ask me, you got what was coming to you. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Under one condition. What? Once you're done with him, you give Hamura to us. <laughs> Gladly. What, no witty comeback? I think that's a first for you. Shut it! AD-9's dark human experiments. The mole who facilitated them. As Yagami gets closer to the truth, the trap is sprung. Details come at the cost of Kaito's blood. And each word that Hamura, the Matsugane family captain, speaks pulls back the veil a little further. Get your fucking hands off me! This is as good a spot as any. You need any... instruments. You just ask me. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Now, I think it's about time we got some answers. And you're gonna give them to us. Should we take it from the top? First off, the one in control of all this is Shono, the 89 researcher. How long have you been working for him? Murdering for him. I already have a pretty good idea. How about I guess? <laughs> First time you used the mole was... Hashiki, the vice director of the ADDC. He got beat to death six months ago, as you well know. <laughs> Hashiki had a secret deal with Chairman Kajihira. Together, they were gonna poke holes in this AD9 business and bring the ADDC to its knees. But Shono, the researcher in charge of the drug, had a big secret he needed to keep hidden. Hashiki's little investigation posed a big problem. That is, until he got beaten down in the back streets of Kamurocho. Hashiki was fatally wounded by the mole and survived for another three weeks. That kept suspicion off Shono and left practically no evidence. Only the most skilled killer could pull something like that off. In other words, the assassin you and Shono had been using. <laughs> Think you struck a nerve. You're a real crack detective, Yagami. You know, I personally funded his time at law school. He 
Never would have passed the bar without me. No shit. I'd say you made a good investment. Paying off in spades. Uh, do you mind? I'm kinda in the middle of something here. Sorry. Sorry. So, where's your friend? No clue. But he'll be here soon enough. All three of you are dead where you stand. He says the mole's on his way here. Oh, is he now? I'd love to have a chat with the lad. Keep dreaming, pal. He'd wipe the floor with your backcountry ass. Enough, Hamra. Tell us who the mole is and how you started working with him. Have those instruments handy? Coming right up. All right, all right, I'll talk. That's almost a shame. I like when it's tool time. Now, who is the mole? At first, he was just an informant feeding off the chaos that breeds in Camarucho like flies. An informant? Yep. And he was trained by one of the best in the business. Rose to prominence after the cops busted his mentor. And that made the mole the top guy in the biz. One of those situations where the student surpassed the master. Nobody could beat his intel. Could get his hands on anything you needed to. Guns, forged documents, you name it. Before long, we'd formed a nice little partnership. Started making a name for ourselves. Thinking about it, it's been about 20 years now. And? Keep talking, or it's tools. Once I got the gig as captain of the Matsugane family, I started relying on them even more. Let me tell you, the guy could dispose of a corpse like it was the easiest damn thing in the world. He had nerves of steel. And he's never even sworn up. Flash forward to a couple years ago, he said he was ready to start doing hits. That's when my... <laughs> big chance finally came. Honestly, I wasn't that big on the whole murder thing. But the dangerous shit's what really brings in the cash. So, I started touting his services around the darker side of Kamaroto. <laughs> Felt like I added a new dish to my menu. This is no time for jokes, you fool. What, you don't approve of my methods? This city will swallow you whole if you don't got the cash. And protecting the family name doesn't come cheap. Ha! <sighs> you think Kaido could have toughed it out with all his swagger? We'd have vanished by now. But with enough money, who knows? We could have rode it to the top of the Tojo clan. Wasn't that always part of the dream, boss? It was, yes. But not anymore. Uh, that's so. <laughs> that's funny, because I spent my entire life chasing that dream for you. The goal you fucking told me to strive for! Let's get back on topic, shall we? Tell me this. You started shopping the mole services around. What then? What happened? <sighs> Wasn't long till we got our first hit. Our mark was Hashki, Vice Director of the ADDC. And Shono's the one who hired you? So I heard. He always contacted me through someone else. Guy by the name of Ishimatsu. 
Short little guy. Always had this creepy fucking smile on his face. At the time, we all thought this was gonna be a one-off. Didn't do much prying, you know. Never even knew why they wanted the guy dead. We just took the 10 mil and did what we were asked. They wanted him to die discreetly though, right? Pretty much. So he did. Ishimatsu took a real shine to us after that. A few months later, he was back with another job. And that was? Well, gathering test subjects for their 89 experiments and disposing of the bodies. So, you just want me to abduct these Curie guys? You don't want them dead? That is correct. And your reward... is a hundred million yen... each. Huh. <laughs> Real funny. Last time it was ten for a hit job. Why give us so much more to kidnap a few guys? <laughs> Funny you should ask that. It could very well end up being more than just a few guys. We're not quite sure how many we might want. Perhaps just one. Or maybe even ten might not be satisfactory. Ten, huh? The key point is, we expect this to be a long-term partnership. Given the sensitive nature of this task, naturally we expect the utmost secrecy. I sincerely hope this 100 million conveys the importance of that. What about the Kyori guys? What happens to them, huh? It's unfortunately likely that they'll end up dead. Excuse me if this is presumptuous, but considering the amount I'm offering, would that also cover the body disposal? Or would that, uh, cost extra? Drop the fucking act, asshole! Where are you getting that kind of money, huh? A hundred mil just to kill one goddamn Yakuza? <laughs> I actually never said you needed to kill anyone. I only requested that you bring them to us. And then, you would just dispose of the evidence. <laughs> I don't see where this is going! You think the Yakuza are your tool? You don't understand. My only role is delivering the message. My employer, he's the root of all of this. And... You have no idea how many billions of yen he has to ensure his objectives are achieved. What? If you pull that trigger right now, who knows how decisive the retribution might be. Those billions could instead be shifted toward erasing you. What was that? Just think about it. How long will you be able to survive? Use your head, Captain Hamura. <sighs> There's no escape. Once you agreed to meet with me today, you all but guaranteed your participation and your compliance. So I strongly suggest you put the gun away. Does that make sense? are seriously that big, huh? Tell me more. Talk. Allow me to answer your question. It's true that we have access to vast amounts of money, yes. But we're not the violent organization you think we are. Oh yeah? Who are you? Ishimatsu Superior. The name's Ichinose. The only reason I'm choosing to show you my face is because I've decided to trust you. And because I want you to understand how far we're willing to go to bring our plan to fruition. 
My name's Shono, Captain. I'm currently researching a brand new drug called AD-9, a drug that could very well save Japan, or, or, or maybe even the world, if... A new drug, huh? Where do I come in? The reality of the situation is, we are under intense pressure to complete our work on AD-9 expediently. To that end, Hamura-san, we'd like to ask for your assistance. Ichinose. So the Ministry of Health is in on this too. It goes all the way up. Maybe it does. Are you familiar with the Medical Institute? Yeah. It's home to the ADDC. And it makes a comfy place for all the Health Ministry execs to go retire. Well, it just so happens that the guy who founded it 20 years ago was none other than Ichinose. He rode that success all the way up to Vice Minister. In other words, his whole legacy's riding on the ADDC. AD9's gotta come out on top for him to stay on top. And he's willing to murder to make sure that happens? Yep. Ichinose is not the only one profiting either. There are tons of parties involved, all being promised this much cash or that favor. If people have to die for AD-9 to succeed, so be it. In the end, maybe it was my own incompetence that led Hamura down this path. This shit got real serious real quick, didn't it? We in over our heads? <laughs> <laughs>